He was a swaggering showboat in the ring. Stands Emmanuel Augustus. He can go toe to toe with just about anybody in the business, and he enjoys doing it. And he goes into people's hometowns. He doesn't worry about that. He takes fights on quick notice. And you know what? The one thing about him, he can fight. His wild antics and even wilder fights earned Emmanuel Augustus a reputation. As the cult following surrounding him and his drunken master antics grew, his smile only seemed to grow with it. In a sport called the sweet science, he was an artist who truly loved his life's work. Bigger than petty numbers like wins and losses, Augustus was to boxing what the and one mixtape was to basketball. He might not have had the talent to rule the world like Michael Jordan, but Augustus was more than happy being boxing's skip to my loo. With that, let's take a look at some of the finest fights of the drunken master. As always, click that like button and subscribe to stay up to the minute on all sweet science. Augustus fought over 30 times in just the first four years of his career. In September of 1998, he fought number one contender John Thaxton in his backyard in Norwich, England. Thaxton nailed an indifferent and taunting Augustus over and over. Augustus shook his head and shoulder rolled and came forward. Thaxton finally folded under the pressure. Worth noting, this was Augustus' third fight that month, and due to the scheduling, each one required a transatlantic flight. HBO had just signed Floyd Mayweather. This is back when he was Pretty Boy Floyd, and Augustus was Burton. Floyd thought it would be a soft-touch first fight for a burgeoning superstar in his prime. Augustus traveled again. The first round was a display of vicious precision from Floyd. Look at the quickness. As the bell rings, Augustus, half defiant, half impressed, blows Floyd a kiss. Burton throws a kiss to Floyd Mayweather. That ought to get him pretty hot. Then did one of the hardest things in modern boxing, forced Floyd to fight an absolute war. He got inside and now he's all over Burton. But Burton tries to fight back. Blood coming from the nose of Emmanuel Burton. And Burton is feigning that he is hurt. Floyd's content to stay on the ropes right now, throw a short little uppercut to Emmanuel Burton. Dale Grable warning, technical knockout. There's a nice left hand inside. It was stopped in round nine with both men bloody. Augustus' bleeding ear canal worried the doctor. Nelson Lopez is thrown in the towel. His fighter has absorbed enough punishment here he looks like a kid getting called in from recess when the fight's called. Nine rounds, zero clinches. Augustus brought the absolute best out of Floyd. Augustus would keep traveling. This time just north of Lowell, the hometown of soon-to-be legendary Mickey Ward. What took place that night might be the best 10-round fight in boxing history. It was wild. Even referee Steve Smoger took a left hook trying to break them up. What a fight. In round nine, down on all the cards, Mickey Ward landed his signature liver shot. Within seconds, fighting for his life, 
Augustus finished out the round with a bang. The final glove touch felt like a forming friendship, eventually going straight back to war. 2,000 punches were thrown. Even though Augustus landed over 100 more shots than Ward, he took the loss on biased scorecards in 2001's Fight of the Year. The most disgraceful night of Augustus's career came when Augustus absolutely schooled an undefeated Courtney Burton in his own backyard. Augustus fought beautifully, leaning into his unusual style more and more as he felt the fun. It didn't take long for controversy to surface. Augustus fired a pair of devastating left hooks to Burton's body. Burton took a knee, and the ref ruled them low blows. Dan Kelly is saying it was low. Later, a point was deducted from Augustus for turning around, which is unprecedented in history. For Courtney Burton, could have been a knockdown instead of a low blow. Despite his dominance, all three judges ruled Burton the winner. Teddy Atlas actually lectured a judge on how to score a fight afterward. A limp-wristed investigation was launched into the fight, which came to nothing. His finest night came against another New England fighter with a reputation for getting into wars. Ray Oliveira was involved in the record holder for most punches ever thrown in a fight. The early going was close, but as Augustus got comfortable, his personality came out. The veteran who says he wants respect, he apologizes. The rounds wear on, and Augustus turns in a fight that can only be described as a masterpiece on every level. The showboating and a left hooker cut that comes in, and this is what he just loves to do, the stylist. Well, Pops a right hand in there. Emmanuel Augustus looks for the opportunities to put 10 punches Stay together, up, man. and he does just that. Now staying with the jab, and the puppet is in. In round eight, Ray stumbles and grabs at his neck. Augustus knew something was wrong, Referee Steve Smoker only suspected it. Ray said he wanted to fight, and the doctor cleared him. Augustus refused to hit to the head. Even as Ray cornered him, willed away with the desperate hooks of an injured warrior, screaming with every punch, Augustus didn't hit back. I mean, he's concerned right now. If he feels something is ahead, maybe they want to take a good look here. Oh, I'm concerned. Steve stopped the fight between rounds on a hunch. Ray would never fight again. If it was anyone else in the ring, who knows if Ray is still alive? The fight is proof that a great fighter can still be a good man. Six months later, Augustus fought Southpaw Swarmer Jamie Rangel. Augustus made the adjustment to the lefty as head lead right hand dominated the distance. It was another war that Augustus's beautiful blend of offense and defense took over down the stretch. On the scorecards, he said to us yesterday. This wasn't the clowning Augustus fans had gotten used to. On Teddy Atlas's scorecard, 30 to 27, and we were able to listen in to the corner of Emmanuel Augustus, and Robert Campos' trainer agrees. He said, you gotta take this guy out. An unusually orthodox Augustus put a beating on Rangel. Finishing the fight with a mean right hand. Ready 
Soon after, Augustus got his second crack at Courtney Burton. The second fight played out almost exactly the same as the first. Still a little suspect. A focused Augustus sliced Courtney up. This time, with an unbiased ref, Augustus wouldn't allow the judges to have a say. He said he'd stop Burton as revenge for his robbery in Michigan. Over eight rounds, Augustus landed more than half his punches. He finished it by going to that left hook to the body before flurrying to keep to his word. What was ruled a low blow in Michigan proved the knockout punch a second time around. Augustus was utterly unique in boxing history. Skilled enough to bloody Floyd, tough enough to out-brawl Mickey. Win, lose, or draw, no matter the opponent, if Emmanuel Augustus was fighting, something awesome was about to happen. And nobody was going to enjoy it more than the man himself. <laughs>